Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of May 31st through June 7th. And I just want to thank everyone who's been watching the readings. I so appreciate that. And I recently discovered um, that YouTube has been adding in extra ads. So I'm going to be vigilant about manually removing those because I'm not trying to bog you down with ads and spam you in a reading. I really want the channel to grow. And I think that um, part of why that started is because I was getting more views. So I guess YouTube figured it was a great time to piss people off by putting in five and six ads without me realizing it. So anyway, I will be, um, I'll be watching that and making sure that we keep it clean around here so that way you can just watch the reading and enjoy that as much as you can. There will be an ad or two, but we don't need five or six ads in readings, do we? I don't think so. Um, but anyway, thank you again for subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing these videos. And if you're new, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted. But if you don't want to do that, it's generally every week. I do a weekly, a monthly, mid-month, and then the first Friday of the month, I've got a love reading coming to you. So if you're looking for love, you can check back on that. All right, so let's see what is going on here. For Capricorn this week. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Capricorn. And if you're new on the weeklies, we just go day by day. So Sunday, you start off with the Two of Wands. Monday, you've got the Magician. Tuesday, you've got the Three of Swords. Wednesday, you've got the King of Cups. Thursday, you have the Four of Wands. Friday, you've got the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Saturday, you've got the Ten of Swords. And then um, Sunday, you've got the Five of Wands here. So I do feel like you've got a bit of competition around you, um, for sure. Um, so you have, um, you've certainly got Fire represented here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You've got really all the elements, but you've got predominantly Fire and Air. So you start off here, I just feel like somebody's envious around you. You start off here with this two of wands and there's a, you know, contemplation here, but you've got the world at your fingertips. You've got, you're holding the world in your hands in this picture. Um, so it's not, it's not a negative card by any stretch, but it really is about making, looking at your life and kind of making some choices, making some decisions. Um, some of you might be engaged in some kind of a project right now and you're taking the next steps in that. Um, maybe work-related like some contract work or something like that I'm getting where I'm seeing somebody getting um, like an email from these companies that are looking for people to do work from home and it's just extra work that um, and I, I know I've actually gotten it myself before in the field that I'm in. So it may be something from home that you can be doing. And it's, again, it's just kind of an extra income source. Um, but, you know, in terms too, there is love here for sure. Some of you, if you're involved with somebody, you might have a little bit of a disagreement on something where it's just, um, it's very mundane though. It's not something where I feel like even with that three of swords that's coming up, I don't feel like it's a separation or a complete parting of ways, but it's like there's a difference of opinion on something in this week. Um, so on Monday, you've got a lot of power around you with the magician here. Um, and, you know, the magician is part of what the magician represents. It's physical manifestations, but it's also like our ability to believe in our own power and at part of our human experience is as human beings, we almost have to have see physical manifestations to believe in our own power. So if we don't have see it, taste it, touch it, smell it, things around us, then we question is the universe, does this really work? You know, is the law of attraction real? Does, I mean, how, how come things aren't showing up? You know, it can, can turn into that very quickly. Um, so with the, the, magician this is you've got every resource you need right at your fingertips you know um, I do feel like you've got good communication coming through but you also have um, you know you've got like I said you've got love coming through here and you have money coming in too um, but it's there's definitely some kind of a an energetic disparity that I feel coming through where 
you're a real you're really a channel for energy right now um you've got awareness of your own personal power but there's sort of an imbalance um where somebody else feels like they are not on the same level or like you've got too much power um that's what i'm getting where they feel i don't I, on tuesday here you've got the three of swords I feel like they, they almost feel like you are a bit dismissive of them, like their opinion is not valued. And and maybe it's vice versa too, but there's somebody here that feels like they're being undervalued, like their opinion is just not that important, and it's sort of this feeling of, well, this is how we're going to do something. That was, okay, thanks for the feedback, but this is what we're going to be doing. Um, and I don't, I, I don't know exactly what that's about, it, but that's the overall feeling that I get, that there's an imbalance and a dismissiveness. And it's hurtful. It hurts somebody's feelings when this happens. It's, it's hurtful to them, and they sort of feel this sense of betrayal about it. Um, you know, it kind of catches them by surprise, too, because I feel like they're kind of humming along here. Things are going well, and then all of a sudden it's like this little thing disagreement pops up and it catches them off guard so Wednesday you've got this king of cups and um this this certainly could be about that because it's emotional vulnerability there may be a, a heart to heart over this and if it's in a relationship it may be somebody that sits down and says look I was really hurt over that and um I don't you know it's not an ending but it's a like I want to treat each other well I don't want to feel like this in this relationship um so you know for some of you if you are single and it's it's not a work it's not a work related things uh, another um another thing that i have coming through here is some of you do have um you have a really strong desire to be in something you have a strong desire for love and marriage and it's really just a matter of allowing it in um, and I know some of you go, I'm trying to, I'm trying terribly to let this in. It's out there for you. It's just, you haven't been aligned with it. So the best thing that you can do is when you see other people getting it to celebrate, to be glad that the universe shows you it does exist. I mean, you know, there's somebody for everybody, right? So if you're single and I am just getting this for somebody that they're feeling like, Hey, I've got money, I've got things stable, but this just hasn't shown up yet it's a yet okay um so that's certainly something that can find you you just have to see it around you be aware of it and be accepting of that so you're very lovable i just got that for you too you're extremely lovable so it's not a it's nothing that you're doing wrong it's just being in that vibrational alignment so this is for thursday we've got this um we've got this four of wands card here and this shows up when there's success um, but there's also more work to be done so for some of you you may again with this you're kind of healing a relationship and navigating around something uh, but it's definitely people coming together so i do feel like you're trying i also think that there is some kind of physical manifestation coming through with the magician and with this they're all about manifesting in the 3d world so you're definitely bringing some things towards you. Some of it may be some, you know, projects around your house or even at your office, like somebody's renovating something. It almost feels more like the office is being renovated. And it's just a matter of developing that and it's getting back into swing if it was halted for several weeks. It's now really taking form and it's really, it's very nice. It's a very nice atmosphere around you. On Friday here, you've got the page of pentacles and you've definitely got some kind of offer coming in again there might be an apology in store i definitely feel like there's a a conflict but with an apology it's not um it, it's you know it's keeping my side of the street clean right and if it's you or the other person this person knows to quickly um address this and not let it just hang out there but i also think too for some of you you're going to be given some real props at work um the things that you've been doing are being noticed and there may be a there might be a small increase in your pay here or there may the other thing i'm getting is 
an increase in responsibilities, but you know that it leads to more. So if it's not an immediate financial remuneration, it's like there's this increase, but there's sort of a sense of pride around it. Like you're now gonna, when I'm out of the office, I want people to go to you and cover for me. And there's a feeling of, yeah, of pride. Like you know that you've got it going on and they know that you do too. And um, they want you to, you know, to, to be important around there. So um, Saturday, you've got this 10 of, you've got the 10 of swords here. Um, and it's definitely the conclusion of a cycle. Like I said, um, you know, it may have been some kind of a disagreement that is now concluded, but it was with some heartache. I mean, I definitely feel like somebody's feelings were very much stepped on in the process. And they just, they felt very devalued in this. And um, so with this, um, there's also too, there may be some kind of conclusion or a cancellation of like a trip or something like that where there's final, finality with this card. Um, you know, it just kind of indicates like there's a, there's a loss here. So some of you may be having some plans get changed and that might be what this whole conflict is about anyway, where there's a disagreement with this and there's some finality where like the the issue is put to rest but it's not necessarily just through these conversations it's like there's some other thing where it's like well that's off the table anyway so there's no point in arguing about it um on sunday here you've got the five of wands and you know the five of wands it can be about drama but it's really these are kids playing okay and they're like it's like two, it's like a bunch of kids playing with swords. So keep that in mind when you see this card, um, because it's it's not a lethal energy. Okay, this is not a war. This is like kids playing with um, Nerf guns. That kind of energy, where it's kind of annoying sometimes when there's a lot of it around you. So I do feel like on Sunday you may be out and about, and there's just a lot of chaotic energy around you, or it just seems like wherever you go like let's say you're running there's all these other people out walking and you can't seem to get away from them or you know you're caught for somebody I'm seeing this you're out walking or running and there's like this family where the kids are on bikes and they get way ahead of the parents and then they have to stop and wait for the parents and you're like in the middle of this trying to navigate it it's that kind of energy so just be aware of that because, you know, sometimes we just chuckle at those things. We don't take ourselves too seriously, right? It teaches us not to. Um, but do know when you see that card in a reading, that's not like, I mean, the kids are wearing polka dots. It's not like it's, um, you're going to, you know, have your ass kicked by life. It's more of a, there's sort of an annoyance or chaotic thing around you. Um, so if you're looking to attract more love in your life, here is an oracle card to do just that love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer you're an eternal being we all are you are an eternal being um we'll close here with abraham hicks money and the law of attraction my attention to it invites the essence of it anything you are giving your attention to is an invitation to the essence of it saying i want money but it will not come it's the same as saying, come to me, absence of money, which I do not want. When you are thinking of money in the way that will make it come to you, you always feel good. When you are thinking of money in the way that keeps it from you, you always feel bad. That is how you know the difference. So your emotions are your indicator of your vibration. And so, um, you know, we reach for better feeling thoughts and that raises our own vibration. So I love you so much Capricorn and I'll be back again soon.